as well. Here's a look at our officials tonight, led by Colleen Radasov, the reigning USL Referee of the Year. Gets the nod tonight in his ninth USL Championship match of the season. Meanwhile, for Top Zone and Birmingham Legion, they've coming off a great result in California against Monterey Bay and introducing a new man in midfield tonight. Starting 11s tonight, and Morgan, let's start first with Detroit City. A condensed stretch of games here to start the month of August throughout the day today. It's starting to cool down as the sun sets, and we are ready to rock. Birmingham Legion in black, Detroit City in white. Derek Dotson not going to get there in front of Brett Levis. Levi's clears without trouble. Enzo Martinez back on it. Finds Prosper Kasim this time. And Levi's is there. That's a big time defensive intervention. Levi's Birmingham look to be pushing forward. Regional reset. Their center backs tonight. A.G. Patterson and Fanuel Cavita. No Alex Grinelli tonight. Normally written in the Birmingham starting 11. And Sharpie, he's out due to a red card suspension. And now trouble could be a brewing. Ben Morris leads a three-on-two charge. Connor Rutz pushing forward. His shot is wide. Just in front of Detroit City, chasing a top-four seed as Rutz starts his run. The flag stays down. Rutz is in behind. Connor Rutz fires and can't find the target. Looks like it took a deflection on the way through. Derek Dotson had plenty of opportunity there to serve something in. Hernandez Foster closed down in short order. So here... Great work by Williams. Didn't let him turn and won it back. And now here comes Detroit. Williams finds Morris, who doesn't have much in the way of support for now. Waiting for a little bit of help. It's starting to arrive. Sheldon has Rutz in front of him. Also has some space to work with. Sheldon, edge of the area. Got around Hamoda. Still Sheldon. Drives it through, and Rutz couldn't quite find the frame. Started every game but one, and he's... Set up a number of goal scoring opportunities for Birmingham this year. Sixth in the USL Championship and chances created coming into the night. Levi's a defining touch there as Kasim tried to connect with Dodson, and now room for Detroit City to break. Ben Morris has options as he pushes forward. Morris against Patterson, cuts it inside. Morris will try too high. That's the right idea, that's the right intent. When you get that ball as a player, as a midfielder, uh, if you're listening at home and paying attention, when you win the ball from your from your opponent in a situation like that, if you the faster you can get forward, the much better. What a more, ball, the danger, it ran and around goal and it's put in! On the ricochet, Levi's the man on the spot to give Detroit City the opening goal. Yeah, and it's been coming. You, you can't say that it hasn't. Detroit have had the better chances. They've looked like they've been on the front foot so far this this evening and you know they get a scrappy goal but I mean it's it's kind of a Detroit goal uh, you know it kind of embodies who they are they are scrappy they are uh, gritty they just find ways to get get it done in some situations that's on the run again can he get there on his way to the corner yes he can Hamoda out there to greet him. Rutz got the serve away. Kavita got a touch. It'll fall for Rodriguez, whose shot's blocked. Murphy thought about a try. He will try and didn't miss by much. I think rightly so. Hernandez Foster got his arm around him, kind of gave him a little bit of a bear hug and tackled him to the ground. But uh, nevertheless, into the first half, 1-0 Detroit City. That is how the first half comes to a close, and it's job well done so far for Detroit City. Hernandez Foster wanting... A little bit of space here, not getting it from Levi's, who's eventually forced back. And as Foster, another good serve. It's flicked in the direction of Saldana, who made an easy catch in the end. And, and actually get that goal to equalize. 65 minutes gone. So far, protective stadium tonight. Right off the restart, Morris on the run. going to get there in front of Kavita. Waiting for a little bit of help. Got a cross away, and Van Oakel made a huge save. Espeleta somehow got a touch to it, and Van Oakel denies what would have been a spectacular goal. Birmingham fans, to stay up to date on all the latest Legion FC news, it's at BHM Legion. On Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, or you can download the Legion FC app, the App Store, and Google Play. At BHM Legion, as Williams gets in behind here, Dodson racing to get back in front. Williams just over the bar. These are going to be things that we're going to give cards for and certainly wasted four or five seconds. Matt Van Oakle could not get the ball back in for Legion FC in that moment. So here chips it forward. Pino got a touch, but nothing more than that. 
Flipped right back to Zuhir, who's taken off it by Amo. It's two on one. Amo has a man to his left. Bizarra gets it from Amo. A chance to put it away. Bizarra saved. Matt Van Okel, a huge stop. What a fantastic save from Van Okel. And again, we talked about Detroit has to be clinical. They're letting Legion FC stay in this game. They need to make sure that they finish those chances. You talk about uh, Bizarra being the super sub that he is. Of course, a fantastic save. Don't take anything away from Matt Van Okel, but, but as a striker, as a forward, you have to finish those chances. You have to put the game away for your team, and they did not do it again. Chances have been few and far between tonight for the home side, and a giveaway there. Villanueva in the passing lanes. He's got options in front of him. Villanueva opts to go for goal, and Van Okel pushes it aside. This ball needs to go into the box. Yeah, he gave two and a half minutes after that, and I mean, his his whole scenario with Amu Mensa and, and Pino took two and a half minutes off the game.